Hello, my name is Dieter Walz and today I would like to present you our newly designed outdoor motion detector RC Plus Next N130. This outdoor motion detector is ideal for narrow plots of land, paths and driveways. On delivery, the RC Plus Next N is in the factory settings and immediately ready for operation. The potentiometers are set to sun and test. By default the value follow-up time is stored with 3 minutes and the switch on threshold with 20 lux. The detector can be mounted very easily. For mounting the mounting base is fixed in a firm base with two screws paying particular attention to the cable entry. Cable entry can be carried out from three sides from above, from below and from the wall side. An additional seal is required for this. And now we take the connection socket and stretch it onto the already mounted mounting socket. The following picture shows how to fine adjust the detector. Here at this point we see the adjustment elements for precise mechanical range adjustment individually for each sensor. With a mechanical adjustment of each sensor, the range can be precisely adjusted. Please note that the outdoor motion detector is mounted at a recommended mounting height of 2.5 meters. After correct installation and connection of the mains voltage, the detector goes through a self-test cycle. This lasts 60 seconds and during this time the device does not react to movement. Now we come to the settings. After removing the cover below the lens, you can directly adjust the potentiometer settings. One sensor on the 130 degree model, two sensors on the 230 degree model and three sensors on the 280 degree model can be set independently of each other. These are two potentiometers for the follow-up time and the switch-on threshold. Here the smaller lens area is the anti-creep zone. You can switch it off with a remote control or with our BG app. Do you also want to reduce the detection range? For this you can use the supplied blinds. These can be attached to a desired location on the lens, so the detector becomes blind for motion detection at that location. We now come to three further setting elements. The test mode, the follow-up time and the pulse mode. The test mode is used to determine the detection range. For this purpose, the light is briefly switched on with every movement. The follow-up time is the duration after movement in which the connected load remains switched on. A duration between 15 seconds and 16 minutes can be selected. By the way, if you select the pulse mode, a voltage pulse is sent for one second during movement. After that, there is a pause of 9 seconds. Now to the declaration of application of the switch on threshold. The different symbols stand for different lux values, whereby the black moon stands for night operation, the light is only switched on when it's dark, and in the sun position, the light evaluation is inactive, day and night operation. Energy saving is a topical issue. Our added contribution to this? At this point, an important hint. This function is only available when the settings are made with the remote control or app. As soon as the follow-up time is set via the potentiometers, the function is no longer available. You can see in the following pictures how the dynamic follow-up time adjustment works in detail. The detector detects the direction of movement of persons or other heat sources moving within the detection range. If a heat source moves towards the detector, and this is last detected by the sensor of the undercreep zone, the follow-up time is reduced to a quarter of the duration set on the device. This means that if you have a set follow-up time of 16 minutes, for heat sources approaching the device, the follow-up time will be 4 minutes, and for heat sources moving away from the device, the follow-up time will be 16 minutes. You can program the dynamic follow-up time with a remote control or app. If you wish to deactivate this function, the detector must be reset using the potentiometers. The follow-up time is also used in daylight measurement. When the light is switched off, the RC Plus Next N constantly measures the ambient brightness in order to compare it with a switch-on threshold. 
If the detector has detected the state dark, which means that the switch on threshold has been undershot for a certain time, the lighting is switched on when movement is detected. Of course, only as long as movement is detected and the set follow-up time is active. If the detector is set with the remote control or the app, the function remains active. The function is no longer active for settings with the potentiometers. However, if the lighting remains on for a period of 90 minutes, it is briefly switched off so that the detector can determine the current ambient brightness. If the ambient brightness is further below the set switch on threshold, the lighting is switched on again. As already mentioned, you can make these settings conveniently using the remote control. All you need is an IR adapter for smartphones, a compatible smartphone and the app. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, please write a comment.